All right, welcome back to Prestige Motorsports. Today, just kind of want to reintroduce you to our airboat lineup. Uh, this engine package happens to be the 632, but just kind of cover what has evolved over the last 10, 15 years. We've been doing these for well over 10 years now, and the packages have continually you know, progressed as far as power, our testing, and, and that sort of thing. So what we'll do is kind of cover it from the bottom up and uh, give you a, a good overview of what this package is really about. foundation always starts with basically a world products block so we got a good strong foundation all forged internals 4340 crank h-beam rods we do a custom piston those are gas ported so that helps seal that big piston and ring package in these so we don't have a whole lot of valve cover huffing and you know the, the breathers aren't uh, pushing oil out of them that sort of thing uh, this is a hydraulic roller setup they're a drop-in style lifter, so it uses a dog bone to retain them rather than a tie bar design. And uh, going back down to the bottom, the oil pan, over the last five to eight years now, we've spent a lot of time with Steph's Fabrication to really get oil control, um, you know, where it needs to be for these applications because they're, they're severely, you know, they're a severe duty application endurance where they run higher RPM for extended periods of time. So oil control and oil temperature is just is absolute key. In the machining of the block, we generally it's an add-on upgrade, but what we really encourage is piston oil squirters. What they are is squirting oil on the bottom of the piston to keep that crown cool. So I know that this customer elected to do that. Uh, the other option that's an upgrade is a spring oiler system that is a plate between the valve cover and the cylinder head. Um, speaking of cylinder heads, so this is a true marine grade cylinder head from Prestige. The, we CNC port this in-house. This is kind of our offshore series of cylinder heads. Has Inconel exhaust valves, extreme duty intake valves, and then a very, very good spring package. And once again, you can upgrade to spring oilers if you like. Um, topping that off is a set of custom built valve covers internally. Um, we do forward upright breathers. It's got a really good baffle system underneath, which also, again, just helping to where we're not spraying oil out of the, the breathers and that sort of thing. So as you see, this one is fuel injected. We do offer these as a carbureted option. But in the fuel injected package, what you're gonna notice is this is a carbureted style intake that has been converted to injector per cylinder. We prefer to do this because we know this intake manifold is the best performing manifold for this particular engine design and package. And we top it off with a 4500 style throttle body. So all of that work is done in-house here at Prestige, and then we control it with the Holly management system. In marine applications specifically, we try to always use the HP or Dominator ECU, which is a fully potted ECU that is gonna be more weather resistant and resistant to uh, the vibrations and stuff that we see in the airboat applications.
So since we talked about what the overall package is, let's talk about what we've refined over the last 10 years. First of all, we talked about obviously oil pan and oil control. So that, that falls into part of how we test it. You know, when we're testing as if this is an endurance application. So we stay on that throttle heavy, uh, 5,500, run it for an extended period of time. We're monitoring that oil control, oil temperatures, and then you see that we're taking data from eight oxygen sensors so we can properly tune this specific setup. If it needs individual cylinder trimming, we'll do individual cylinder trimming. We also talked about the cylinder heads. So we took, we used to take an off the shelf cylinder head. Now we have developed our own head in house. So quite frankly, this combination originally started about 800 foot pounds of torque and uh, 780 horsepower. So now we're in that range of about 830 to 840 foot pounds and somewhere between eight to 820 horsepower. So it's come a long ways uh, and it's really designed around that endurance application to where you can feel confident when you put this on your rig.